All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to talk about Javante Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather Jr. Also, Ryan Garcia, a bunch of back and forth going over there, going on over at the Twitter world. So let's chop it up in this video. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 135 pound division again, where the biggest fight in boxing that has been made to date uh, this year is uh, Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. And there's been a bunch of drama going on over there on Twitter between the two of these dudes. Seriously, man, it's just, it's absolutely hilarious to watch this stuff going on, go on. But in the midst of it though, some interesting information came out from Gervonta Davis about Floyd Mayweather Jr., who he said was petty. And so you can definitely tell, man, that those dudes ain't getting along that well. Uh, but let's review it. Also, some information, good information about Javante Davis and what he, where he is physically before this fight. But before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos, which we do daily. Also, if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. Let's get into this because, dog, first of all, Javante Tank Davis uh, is going back and forth with Ryan Garcia. And in the midst of it, uh, Javante Davis says something to Ryan Garcia about like, look, man, uh, basically like, man, leave me alone. Otherwise, I'm going to tell people what happened to you in the gym. Right. <laughs> and he doesn't. Uh, and uh, Ryan Garcia responds and says, yeah, I know what happened to you, too. And then so Javante um, says if you were talking about the fact that uh, that Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s petty ASS won't let him in his don't let me in the gym anymore. OK, big deal. <laughs> he said, but no, I'm not talking about what I what I heard. I'm talking about what I know, which means that we all know what that means. That means Javante, it means uh, Ryan Garcia got beat up by somebody. He got knocked, by, knocked out by somebody. He got beat up by somebody. Without a doubt, you know that's what he's talking about because that's the only thing these guys are talking about these days what happened to people in gyms and how they get beat up and all of that stuff has been just so much, so much of that talk. Like, and I don't know how much of it really, de you know, actually goes into the ring and like matters really in the ring. But, you know, just recently you had... um Roly Romero get knocked out and sparring by uh, by somebody in the exact same fashion that uh, in the exact same fashion that Gervonta Davis knocked out Roly Romero the fight before last. Uh, so, you know, Gervonta Davis lose to Ryan Garcia getting knocked out in sparring without a doubt or seriously beat up in sparring, something like that. But the the pettiness of Floyd Mayweather Jr., that's funny to me because it was very, very good to see uh, Leonard Ellerby uh, at the press conference for Gervonta. Uh, and so it's clearly that, clear that those guys still have a good relationship. It's clear that he's still managed by Al Heyman. But, you know, Floyd Mayweather Jr., it, you know, that just kind of signs off that, you know, those two dudes are not going to be seeing eye to eye, man. Um, I don't know whether or not it is, you know, Floyd being, letting them go on about his business or Floyd just being, you know, kind of a petty dude, man. And just being, because I do remember man where I mean Floyd Mayweather Jr. back in the day if you don't remember it if you if you don't recall got into a big fight and acted like he wanted to beat up his dad in the middle of that gym so you know Floyd it's Floyd's gym Floyd owns it you know uh, if uh Gervonta wants to come down to Mayweather uh Mayweather uh gym According to Javante Davis, he's not welcome there anymore. But it is what it is, man. Now, the other thing that got that took place that I think that is really interesting is that Javante Davis sent out um, sent out a status with uh, of his weight because Ryan Garcia said, "Hey, basically that he was fat and he's got weight to lose." You know that 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 uh that uh snapshot of the of uh Gervonta Davis from the side where it looks like Gervonta Davis has a little belly Gervonta Davis you know st stepped on the scale and was like I'm 146 pounds right now without my phone 146 pounds 
and that is one month out. Uh, 145, 145.6, is that what he said? 145.6 uh, is how much he's weighing uh, a month out for the fight. So he should most definitely be on target to be able to weigh in at 100 and, you know, at 136 pounds. So he doesn't look really look like he's very far off from it. But uh, Ryan Garcia just got to, like, Ryan Garcia does a lot of talking, man. Like does a lot of talking, a lot of goofing. Uh, he said I did a video about it and you'll check it out if you haven't already checked it out, where he claimed that Floyd that uh Gervonta Davis in his contract prevented him from eating e- eating any food or water three days a week, three days a week into the late lead up into the fight, which is just sounds like it's absolutely ridiculous because how in the world are you gonna how are you gonna track that? Like, like, are you going to like go and are you going to have some Javante Davis is going to have somebody with him 24 hours a day for three days a week, making sure he doesn't drink any water and making sure he doesn't eat any food. Hey, come on, man. And it's just absolutely positively silly to say that for somebody to believe what Ryan Garcia is saying in that regard, which makes me believe that, you know, he's highly capable. He's highly capable of saying a bunch of other things that are not, you know, that are not, uh, that are not real. Like the fact that he thinks he can win this fight, (laughs) man. I'm telling you, man, this dude is cashing out, dude. This guy look, it's maybe I could be wrong. Now, you know, everybody comes to the channel and always says, well, man, for now, what are you going to do when Ryan wins the fighter? What are you going to do when this guy wins the fight? Look, if he wins the fight, he wins the fight. Ryan Garcia is most definitely a world-class fighter. He absolutely positively is. However, man, he's got a lot of gamesmanship to him, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of, you know, for the cameras type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like even the way that he's working the bag and the uh, work, the way that works the bag, staring at the camera, you know, putting the putting the putting the, um, you know, the blindfold on where he's doing when he's doing it. All that kind of silly stuff, man. This type of silliness, saying that stuff and saying that in an interview, um, going back and forth on Twitter. It's just a lot of I mean, hey, dude, he's doing a really good job of selling a fight. I got to tell you, because like Rolly Romero was really good at that. Did a lot of talking, a lot of this, that and the other stuff. Um, We'll see, however, when these guys are when they get in the ring, whether or not they're actually going to be able to back that up. But it's good for the fight because Javante Davis definitely needs definitely Javante Davis can be can play the straight man. Right. He's definitely not as good. At at you know cracking jokes and all of that stuff and doing cute internet stuff as Ryan Garcia is or Rolly Romero is, but at the but at the end of the day, the man those dudes are gonna have to get in the ring, and when they get in the ring, we're gonna really see what the case is. But anyway, in summary, once again, Javante Davis was kicked out uh, or is no longer allowed in Mayweather Gym. Number two. Uh, he's on weight at 145.6 pounds without his phone in his hand, right? Because the scale says 146. And Ryan Garcia is out here doing his best to sell a fight and get underneath the skin of Gervonta. I would suggest that the man sit down there and and go in ahead and make sure he makes weight. He has doesn't have a problem any in, with any weight. Doesn't look listen to Tim Bradley about blowing off the weight. Because you blow off that weight, you're gonna lose a lot of dough. And on top of it, it's probably not not going to help you that much anyway. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Peace.